Hi, this recording is about the new scope we have in Rule Engine, that is budgets in Rule Engine. Now, there are a lot of things that you can do while working with budgets in Rule Engine. Uh, get a report on the performance data of your budgets, campaign or shared budgets. You can modify your daily budget by increasing them, decrease or just set it to a particular value. And you will also be able to analyze a budget basing for your campaigns just by adding a target monthly budget. Now, just to get an idea of what budgets are, budgets are used to manage the amount of money spent on your ad campaigns. Now, there are two kinds of budgets. As I said that you can get a report on the performance rate of campaign and shared budgets. So campaign budgets or just the budgets are those kind which are applied to a single campaign and it appears within the associated campaign settings in Google Ads. Whereas shared budgets are those which are shared across multiple campaigns and they are available in the accounts shared library for you. So let's jump into the tool and see how you can create rules around budget scope. Um, you can just start by adding a new strategy. That's where you can choose to create your own and start with the scope budgets. I already have a small a one or two strategies here to walk you through them. So the very first one is to modify budgets in the account by comparing with the previous performance. So you can see, I can very quickly uh, work with the clicks and impressions and conversion value by cost metrics like this. And I can do a comparison where I'm checking if the conversion value by cost for my budget in last seven days has been better than the previous seven days. And the previous seven days, it's something which is a custom date range which you can create right here. You can just go to date range section. You can name the custom date range as you want. So I've named it as last 14 days offset by seven, which is like seven days before the last seven days. And my start date is 14 and end date is eight days ago. So this is one way to create your custom date ranges and it really helps you to do the comparative study. You can create more if you want and do uh, create conditions like this. Now, all the clicks and impressions and all the performance data that you see in the rules right here is at the budget level. Just as we explained earlier that when we're talking about the campaign budgets, the performance data of a budget is equal to the corresponding campaign's performance. But when we are talking about a shared budget, the performance data is the aggregated performance of all the associated campaigns to it. All right. So uh, let's look at the rule. I'm just checking out those budgets which have received clicks more than zero in last seven days and have had a better conversion value by cost in last seven days as compared to previous seven days. If that's the case, I would like to increase daily budget by 20%. It's a very straightforward strategy and we can see there is one suggestion for me. There is a budget which is broad RSL leads and it's suggesting me based on the rule to increase it by 20%. You can see that the conversion value by cost in last seven days is higher than the previous seven days. Now, if you just like the suggestion, you can apply it. And if you would like to run strategy of this kind automa on automation, you can automate it. But there's one very specific thing which you will notice here is something exclude recent changes applied from rule engine. So now if you make any change today and if you are running the same strategy on automation daily, but if you try to run the strategy again tomorrow, and if the same budget goes through all these rules and qualifies, then it will be suggested to increase daily budget. So if you are someone who would not like to apply changes to your budgets repeatedly very soon, then it's a good idea to exclude them from your suggestions. So when I choose to exclude the recent changes applied from rule engine uh, in last 14 days, last seven days, or even since yesterday, what will happen is rule engine will automatically not show me those suggestions and it will make sure that we are not applying the similar changes to the same budget very frequently. So it's a very good idea to keep in check and give your uh, budgets enough time to perform based on the change budget. So this is one of the strategy you can try out. Similarly, there's something else which you can do and which is a uh, very uh, simple idea where you can check if the uh, spend of your campaign, the spend of your campaign budget or the spend of your shared budget 
is higher than 80% of your daily budget. So when I say the state, let's say, for example, your daily budget is 100 and your budgets are spending at uh, more than 80 daily. So that's a pretty uh, simple strategy when I'm checking the cost. If it's greater than 80% of my daily budget, if that's yes, I would like to increase my daily budget by 5%. So you can very um, easily create the strategies like this. You can also set a minimum and maximum daily budget to make sure you do not uh, go below a certain amount and go above a certain amount. So this is a very um, simple walkthrough of how you can create strategies around the budget scope. Please try them out and reach out to us at supportedoptimizer.com for any further assistance. Thank you and bye-bye.